please take a moment to look at your GPA. If your GPA is higher than the GPA required by the college you want to go to, then you're in great shape. You are on track academically and you're going in the right direction in life. You are doing things now they are going to help you get the career you want to get later. And if that's you, then you can skip the rest of this lesson. Keep watching though if your GPA is lower than the one required for the career you want. In that case, we've got a little bit more to talk about. All right. You aren't where you wanted to be, and that's okay. That is going to be something that you can work through, that you have control over, and you can fix it while you're still in high school. But just going to talk a little bit about some strategies that are going to help you fix it while you're still in high school. Uh, you don't, you you aren't where you want to be right now, and um, uh, I do want to talk about the idea that you have control over your grades. I have been sitting down with students for years and years and years with low GPAs and asking them this question. Are you, is your grades low because you struggle in school? It's very hard for you. You do your best. You do all the work. You do what the teacher asks you to do. You ask for extra help. You go to the tutorials. You go to the mentoring sessions. You do everything and you still get bad grades. Or are your grades lower than they should be because you just are not really putting enough of yourself into it. Or is it possible for you to pull up this GPA or not? I've been asking students that question for over 10 years. I've never had a student tell me, no, it's not possible for me to have a GPA any higher than it is. I'm doing everything that I possibly could. So that is intended to show you that you have control over what it is that you do in school. This is something within your power. And I know, school sometimes seems unconnected to the real world. It seems like you're never going to get through it. It might seem boring at times or just seem frustrating. There might be all kinds of distractions around you. There might be things going on that um, are taking you away from the focus on school that you know that you should have. There might be friends with issues. There might be family issues. You could be facing all kinds of things. And I want to remind you that life is full of events that you have no control over. There's a lot of things that happen that you can't stop from happening, that you didn't want to happen, that just happened to you. And unfortunately, those things just occur. And there's ways to just get around it and go through it and get over it and get the help that you need from people who care about you. Um, but ultimately, it's your life. And um, it's the life that, that you want to make for yourself. So the next point is, school is your ticket. Um, School can get you the life that you want, even if you don't like school, or even if school doesn't seem like it. Simply the act of getting grades at school that take you on the path you want to get can really help you uh, down the road. So take charge of this GPA that you've got. Own it. Be, um, be responsible for getting the grades that you want to earn to go in the direction you want to go. Ultimately, it's about making decisions that put you on the life track you want to be on. You've got this power. You've got control over the things that you can control. Go forward, do those things, do the best you can to get back on the life track that, that you want to be.